Hi, welcome back to Bike Speed. So, our recent video we restored this lovely Peugeot road bike, steel frame, five gears on the back, one on the front, so it's a five for one. It was actually pulled out of a skip, given to us by one of our loyal customers who said, I don't know if they want to do anything with this. So, we restored it for the channel. So, this has had new bottom bracket bearings, wheel bearings new chain, new cables, new headset bearings, handlebar tape, new tyres, tubes. Wasn't a very expensive restoration, but it's an example of what you can do with an old bike. So we're going to take this out on the back roads, give it a little spin, I'll do a little review on it, tell you my thoughts, and we'll take it from there. I hope you enjoy this content. Let's see how we go. Now I do have to confess, this is my first time on a drop handle bike in three years. And I can't deny I'm a little bit nervous. I actually had an accident, which I'll tell you about in another video, which has prevented me from riding. So this is a monumental morning for me. It's currently close to seven o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. Typical with the UK. The roads are wet, had a little bit of water overnight. This is my first time I've dropped handlebars in three years. It feels quite nice. So away we go. So, first impressions. It is a little bit tall for me on the crossbar standover. These older bikes are very square, very horizontal top bars, unlike a lot of modern bikes that drop down slightly to allow an easier step over. So this one's a little bit tall for me. But in terms of this riding position, it's not too bad. And I could almost do with a slightly longer stem on this edge of the field. Just open up my stomach, I think. Unfortunately, I've put on quite a bit of weight since I stopped riding. So, I think it's going to make my breathing a little bit heavy when I warm up. I think if I had a slightly longer stem, it would open me up slightly. This position is probably quite good if I was a little bit fitter to take an easier breath. The handling feels reasonable given the age of the bike, the wheels and everything. It's nice to ride in this. It's literally the first mileage we've done on it since we restored it. Let's get our head down. Hill sprint there. You can hear the birds chattering. That's quite nice. Birds are singing. Sunday morning. First ride on a hot handle bar in three years. I can tell you this feels bloody good. I can see a horse running towards me. Now they weren't in there last time I rode around here all them years ago. So, steel frame. It's not that heavy. I think if I was at my normal, not my normal, my previous speed condition, I don't think I'd really worry about riding this bike. I may actually, during the week, swap the gearing out for maybe a two by system to just give me them extra gears because I'm in third with mid-range. It just feels too heavy, all the gearing feels too heavy. Oh, this is nice. So the video last week, I got to take my hat off to Simon. This bike took us, I think it was two and a half weeks to film, quite a time. We spent 
three or four hours a day doing the filming because obviously I have got customers bikes to do that aren't being filmed so we're always busy and then Simon just dropped this into a conversation when he was talking about color grading he had 957 clips to make the video that you watched and he had to adjust quite an epic edit for Simon that one found him right here now this is a nice little junction just past him around that corner I'll come around quick around there we're okay big edit very proud of Simon we also had quite a lot of orders on the website with YouTube it's one of those things where when you're growing a channel it's fruitless but we started the website where we sell the things we use in the videos and that's done quite well for us a lot of you have ordered and trust me it's the only thing that's keeping the YouTube going for us because if we were earning nothing we couldn't sustain it commercially it would make no sense as much as we love doing it personally so the sales on the website have been really appreciated I mean really appreciated and overnight since launching this bike video we've actually had our best overnight sales so again a lovely positive to start this ride with today we are now on four miles I've also literally just this second noticed I made up a water bottle at home and left it at home well prepare for that mile I'll be thirsty later on to the three gears there I'm now in the easier gears which again this is not not a massive incline but it is hard we've got a car about to go around a duck he's stuck in the middle of the road I'm gonna move the duck for him there we go <laughs> getting low. so Headset bearing feels great on this bike. Handlebar tape is nice and comfortable. Front brake works perfectly. I put reasonably cheap tyres on this. And they have got a little bit of tread on them. So they don't feel too bad. I feel quite confident in the grip. Cabling is working perfectly. Front and rear brakes, shifter. Indexing is perfect. Wheel bearings feel great. The thing is flowing along. Bottom bracket feels good. Pedals feel okay, you may remember we didn't put bearings in those. A couple of comments saying the caps came off, but trust me, they did not. We tried, we couldn't get them apart. Same with the hub, whose suggestions on that. Again, trust me, we know all the tricks. But if you're enjoying this content, please do subscribe. It's a great metric for us to know how we're growing. Do leave a comment. Tell us if you would want to see me rambling on anymore whilst out riding. I'm quite enjoying it if I'm honest. Quite nice. Here we are. 6.27 miles. I've already moved the duck out of the way of a car. I've already panicked about batteries. One thing that's consistent is this bike. This is untested. I literally took it home, set up the cameras and away we go. It's literally fresh out of the box, perfect. I'm really happy with the bike. Oh, this is joyous. Aspire 
be anywhere near his level of mental strength and physical ability. Some can do it, some cannot. And I'll probably sit somewhere in the middle of those. I've been wanting to get out on the bike for a long, long while like this. I'm not going fast, I'm taking the time. I haven't got the fitness I once had. So it's important to just get the legs moving again, not go mad. I barely broke sweat. Nice to get the legs turning. Right, so we've already been on this piece of road but coming in the other direction. I just did a little loop there to come back. I always find this stretch of road back into our town. Harder work than going out. I've now got a pheasant in front of me. Drop into the Next field, so he's crossing the road. Here it's lovely on this bike. The actual shift. Gear ratio's tricky. The actual shift is beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go for this. We're gonna come round here, drop down. And then we've got a long hill climb. It's going to leave me out of breath. Practically standing still. We're now coming down a hill to the left hand. And then we've got the hill climb with the wrong gear in. On a steel bike. a little bit around the corner here. It gets really hard. Doing 10 somehow. Oh, made it. Well, I'll just catch my breath. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, drop it a like. Ooh, can't breathe. Start that again. <laughs> Still a heart now. I hope you enjoyed this style of content. It was great getting out on this Peugeot, especially having poured so much time into it. It's a pleasure to do. Thank you to the customer who gave it to us. Thank you for signing with his patience on editing it. We've been riding now for close to 55 minutes. Barely done any mileage at all to our files. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.